Maram Rashidi is a woman who was struck and killed as she worked as a gas station attendant while she was attempting to chase down a person who had driven off in a stolen vehicle with about $110 worth of gasoline. She was injured during the incident and she was taken to a hospital in Calgary where she worked at a Centex gas station where she died of her injuries. Centex Petroleum President Al Noor Bahura said, Our thoughts and heartfelt sympathy go out to her family and friends. We pray they are able to get through this time of sadness and pain. We are all struggling with this at the moment. Police have arrested and charged a 20-year-old man in connection with Rashidi's death. A 16-year-old was also arrested but later released without charge. Tips from the public led police to a home in Beddington on Tuesday night where the two suspects were located. Police took the 20-year-old into custody after officers surrounded the home for several hours. The Crown Prosecutor is looking to lay the following charges on the accused. Criminal negligence causing death, hit and run causing death, dangerous driving causing death, possession of stolen property, over $5,000, and theft. No explanation has been given yet as to why the young woman was chasing after the customer for not paying for gas. All gas companies have a policy of employees not doing this because it places their lives in danger. However, I would speculate that perhaps she was told by her employer to chase down the car because a lot of gas companies will have an official policy of not chasing people who drive off they have an unofficial policy of threatening the employees with deducting their pay if they don't stop them. For every person that you miss driving off, they deduct it from your paycheck. This action is illegal and it is actually a very common practice to do to their employees. In fact, I've worked for several gas stations myself and I have been threatened with this same thing. It's actually a common threat that is made in the industry. I'm not saying her employer did this because there's no evidence to indicate that yet. However, I do know it is a common practice. In fact, in 2012, a man was killed after chasing after somebody who had driven off gas in an SUV. His family says he did it because they had threatened to dock it from his pay if the person got away and had said that this had even happened before. His pay had, been, had, had a deduction made from it from a person who had driven off. Given that this is a common thing in the industry, we see once again that even though it's against the law, companies still place their own cash, even a petty amount of $150, $110 over the life of a human being. There's a reason why they make this threat off the record, of course, but it is a common practice as almost anyone who's ever worked in a gas station can tell you because the logic of capital states that money is more than human life. Property rights are over human rights. And in the logic of a system where a loss of money like this means more than the loss of a human life, can we really be surprised that it acts this way? If you like this video and you'd like to see more of them, then head over to my Patreon page and show your support. Or you can go to the MRN bookstore and check out some of the latest books available. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share on various social media.